Manipulation of the mid lumbar spine with the patient side lying. The patient is prepared in this normal position. The bottom leg is straight, the top leg is slightly flexed with the foot just behind the patient's ankle. The pelvis is going downwards and away from the operator and the shoulder girdle is organised so that the lower scapula is drawn anteriorly. The lower arm is just resting by the pillow. The patient's upper arm is resting on the body like this. The operator comes through with the cranial hand to palpate the relevant segment. Palpating from the sips, the posterior superior iliac spine, coming central to S1, S2, and then gently counting up to L3, 4. The forearm of the cranial hand is positioned posterior to the mid axillary line for comfort and good positive contact. The caudal arm is positioned between the iliac crest and the greater trochanter with the anterior proximal aspect making contact. The operator brings himself close to his caudal arm and then starts with applying some compression with the body from the legs and then both arms pushing towards the site, the level where the operator is palpating. The caudal arm is fixing on the ribs, on the posterior part of the ribs, posterior to the mid axillary line for good comfort. The operator then gently using the back leg introduces rotation as a primary lever to focus on the L3-4 upper facet, the facet nearest to the operator and then we can introduce side bending in one direction or side bending in the other direction, testing the rotation to see which side bending produces the reduction in amplitude, then maybe some flexion or extension, feeling which again further reduces the rotation amplitude, applying more compression and when the barrier comes up where the rotation is reduced, using the legs we can drop, introducing a rotation primary lever impulse.